Yo, it's Trent. Make sure you sub, share, like, comment, all that. Hope everyone's having a good day, good week. Love Fridays, and we got a good one today. We got a wild night story time, and I know that's a pretty bland title. I had, I was trying to think of one, but this is so much stuff happened, and it's like kind of crazy. So I don't know what to call it. You know, it wouldn't do it justice if I just called it one part of the story when there's a whole another section of the story that's about something else, right? So it's a wild night and you'll see why so we got to go back right go back all the way to the summer between eighth grade and freshman year right i had just finished middle school and it's summer now and i was playing baseball in the summer that's the only sport i was playing in the summer right just some summer baseball now what's important is let's just say because i don't remember what day it was and that's not important but let's just say friday night because it's a friday today that's easy to remember right so a Friday night, and I have a baseball game Saturday morning at, like, I have to be there at, like, 9 a.m., right? And it's about 15 minutes away from my house. I also, you know, if I, I, I didn't have a car yet, um, or maybe, I don't know if I, I don't think I had a car, right? That doesn't sound right. I didn't have a car. So, um, pretty much, I'm at my house. It's Friday night, right? Just hanging out. And I don't remember what exactly was going on, but I know that I didn't want to be around my house too long, right? Like the environment was not nice. There was yelling going on. I'm like, you know what? Let me talk to this girl. Let me hang out with this girl that I've been talking to, right? Or not hang out, but let me text her, see what she's doing, right? And not that it's that important, but this girl was two years older than me, right? I was going to be a freshman this upcoming year. She was going to be a junior. And the only reason I'm telling you guys this is because she could drive, right? So it makes sense for the story. So I'm texting her. I'm like, hey, we should do something if you want, you know? And she's like, yeah, that's cool. You want to come over? I could pick you up, right? So I'm like, of course, sounds good. So I get picked up and we weren't dating. It was nothing weird, but, you know, we just happened to randomly meet and hit it off. And uh, you got to assume I was fully cool with it. You know, that was the coolest thing ever to me. I'm hanging out with a girl two years older than me. So don't feel bad or think anything's weird because I was just like, you know, I was chilling. So I go over to this girl's house and I brought a little bit of weed with me, right? Because, you know, got to got to always have it with you. But I know for sure I had a pen because I never brought Bud to other people's house. You know, I always felt like that was too sketchy. What if it smells? And, you know, parents, I don't want to get anyone in trouble, right? So I get to this girl's house and I'm hanging out for a little bit, ripping the cart. You know, time passes by and it gets pretty late, right? Let's just say it's like midnight, 1 a.m. And me and this girl are watching movies, hanging out, you know, making food, doing whatever, right? Um... And bottom line is we stayed up pretty much all night, right? Like I didn't, not too many details. I was just smoking and hanging out. You know what I mean? And we ended up staying up pretty much all night. It's like 6 a.m., right? The sun is starting to peak, or I guess the sun was already starting to peak. Like it was light blue outside. You know what I mean? Like where it's switching from night to day, like the sun was rising. It was just becoming morning. I'm hearing birds and stuff outside and I'm high as shit first of all, but it, I mean, back then I'd be high for like two hours. So I still would have been fine for the game, but I knew that I needed to sleep somewhat before this game. Right. And I, I didn't even realize like until I heard the birds and, you know, cause we were talking, hanging out all night, you know, and the moment I realized I was like, Oh shit, I have a baseball game in like three hours. This is not good. Right. I was thinking I got to go home, sleep, get ready, all that stuff, but quickly figured out a new plan. Right. My grandpa, he goes, he always went to every one of my sporting events, real G, right? He always went no matter what. He, my parents, right, they weren't at the time. Now, now my mom, she's super chill. But at the time, they were a little more strict, right? I don't think they would have liked me uh, coming home that early because that means I left last night. And I don't think anybody realized I left. Um, so I call my grandpa up and I'm like, hey, can you pick up my baseball stuff and meet me at the field right at nine and stuff? And he's like, you're up early. And I'm like, yeah, I am. <laughs> but really, I stayed up all night with this girl just smoking and hanging out. Right. So I'm like, can you bring my baseball stuff to the field, you know, and I'll meet you there. And he's like, sure. No questions asked. He was completely down for that. That's why, you know, that's why he's my favorite ever. That was just that's a G moment. You know, grandpa had a lot of G moments like that. So. I'm like, okay, let me try to sleep as long as possible. And I knew I had to be at the field at nine, 15 minutes away. 
I'm setting this alarm for 840. Like we're leaving as soon as we wake up, right? And I talk to the girl, make sure it's all good with her. You know, she's apologizing a bunch. And I was saying, you know, it's my fault too. Like I, I made a stay up, you know, I could have gone to bed whenever. So I try to sleep a little bit and I didn't fall asleep for like 30 minutes because I can't remember what I was focused on, but there was like, you know, when you have curtains up and just the tiniest bit of sliver of light shines through like onto the wall. I was just like staring at that while trying to fall asleep, right? Eventually I fall asleep and I wake up to that alarm. And honestly, I probably should have tried to stay up all night. Um, but it, cause it made it so much worse when I woke up. I was so tired. I felt like I was dead, right? My whole body just felt heavy. Like it felt like no matter what would happen, I just wanted to sleep more, right? Even if I had to miss the game, but I knew I couldn't do that, right? So the girl was already awake when I was waking up. I was like dead. She's like, we have to go, right? So I'm like, okay, let's do this. But really, I was like, I don't want to fucking do this. I had no desire, right? And I was always, I mean, I never played in high school. But beforehand, you know, including this year, I was pretty good at baseball. So, you know, it would have been weird for me to show up and just totally sucked, you know? So I get there to the parking lot, find my grandpa, get my baseball stuff. I'm tired as shit. I must have looked like shit, too, because he was like, oh, you must have had a good night or what happened to you last night? He said one of his famous lines, right? He always says the same shit to me. But he said something like, oh, man, a night you had. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. And I, I explained it to him because like I said he's chill. He doesn't care. Right. And I tell him what happened. And he's laughing. Right. He's like, oh, ha, ha, good to be young. I bet it's nice to be young, you know, and. He's like, I used to do things like that in college. And I'm just like, yeah, but I'm 15. I'm not in college. Uh, but I didn't say that. But that is a little wild that I was doing all that. I was doing wild stuff like that when I was way younger. But then now I'm just like completely chilling. I don't even go to parties. I don't hang out with people. I just chill. <laughs> so pretty wild. Um, but that night, that night had a lot of shit going on. So like, what would you have titled that? Like, what could I have titled this video instead of wild night, you know, am I supposed to be like, I hung out with this girl, stayed up all night, got extremely high, then I had to go play baseball. Like, that's not a very, that's a complicated title right there. But all right, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you sub, share, like, comment, all that. Check out the, um, check out the puppy videos and the game videos and yeah, be safe. Peace out.